The installation of a Jocasso must allow proper operation and maintenance and the treatment performance to be sustained over a long period of time without disruption. For that purpose, the installation location as well as an optimum installation method need to be considered and an installation plan to be made. In addition to the main unit, a Jocasso includes pipes and ancillary equipment which require the creation of drawings for the installation work. The installation of a Jocasso involves several operations such as excavation, bar arrangement, concrete pouring and curing, plumbing and equipment installation. The same attention should be brought for the installation work of small-scale jocasso for individual houses and large-scale jocasso for hotels. In Japan, the installation of a jocasso must be reported to the municipality and the installation work has to be supervised by a nationally qualified technician called jocasso installation worker. In addition, depending on the construction operation, for example, when using heavy machinery, qualified technicians are required. The operations for the installation of a Jocasso unit involve deciding the installation position based on the design excavation work foundation work, the installation of the main unit, water filling, the connection of various pipes, back filling, the construction of the upper slab, and the installation of ancillary equipment. This video introduces the installation flow, focusing mainly on the burying work of small-scale jocasso and large-scale jocasso. Preparation for installation work. Preliminary survey and preparation for installation work. To install a jocasso in a way that prevents any damage, and enables operation and maintenance, parameters such as soil quality, groundwater level, as well as the status of the discharge point are checked. Preparation is carried out and meetings are held with related parties in order to have a smooth and safe construction in accordance with the construction drawings. Before excavating, decide the excavation location and delineate the area where the jocasso will be installed. Installation work of main unit. Excavation work. The excavation surface has a margin of about 800 mm to 1,000 mm greater than the length of the tank. If there is a risk of collapse of the ground due to soil quality, appropriate measures such as earth retaining are taken and a safe construction method is used for the excavation work. When raising the height of the manhole is needed, that is, when the jocasso is deeply buried underground, it is necessary to ascertain that there is sufficient room for performing operation and maintenance. Foundation work. First, a rubble foundation is made and then concrete is poured for leveling. 
In accordance with the bar arrangement diagram, the concrete foundation is poured and the height of the finished foundation is checked. The horizontality of the jocasso is checked as levelness plays an important role in ensuring a normal treatment performance as well as preventing tank damage and water leakage. Generally, the targeted levelness is 1 in 200 or less. To avoid any mistake, the position of each tank is carefully marked and checked as well as the position of the anti-floating fittings. Installation work of main unit. First, a line representing the center line of the jocasso is drawn on the foundation. The weight of the jocasso, as well as the distance between the crane and the installation site are checked and the jocasso is suspended with a crane that can lift it safely. Then, the center line of the jocasso is aligned with a line drawn on the foundation. Next, the level of the main unit is checked again. The installation of anti-floating fittings is done by referring to the jocasso construction manual. Water filling and backfilling work. After ensuring that there are no abnormalities inside the tank, the jocasso is filled with water. The depths of the bottom of the inlet and outlet pipes are checked to ensure proper connection. Before backfilling the soil, the fixing of the anti floating fittings is checked. The space around the jocasso is then evenly backfilled with soil to prevent tilting, deformation and damage. During backfilling, hydraulic filling and soil tamping are performed every 300 mm in height. In addition, measures are taken to prevent soil and sand from entering manhole covers the inlet and outlet pipes and joints. For backfilling, high quality soil and sand that do not contain pebbles are used as pebbles may cause damage to the jocasso. Since horizontal deviation may occur during backfilling, the level is frequently checked during this operation. Plumbing and electrical work. Plumbing work. The inlet and outlet pipes are connected based on the slopes shown in the construction drawings. Pits with inverted arch are installed at the starting point, bending point and confluence of the pipes. A closed lid is used on the pit with inverted arch to prevent others and rainwater from entering the jocasso. Before connecting the inlet and outlet pipes to the jocasso, the level of the facility is checked. Since the pressure of the air supply from the blower drops in long pipes and at bends, carefully perform air pipe work while checking the construction drawings. Electrical work. Waterproof boxes are used for the inside of the tank and the externally exposed parts. A dedicated or shared earth leakage circuit breaker is installed for the power supply. The electrical equipment that requires grounding work such as blowers, pumps, control panels, is grounded. Upper slab construction. After backfilling, the soil is sufficiently tamped down. The slab thickness and bar arrangement are made according to the construction drawings. 
Equipment installation. Installation of blower control panel. The blower is installed in a place where there is no danger of being flooded by rain. The installation of the blower in a place where operation noise is a concern is avoided. As much as possible, the blower is installed in a well-ventilated, shaded place. Places with a lot of dust, debris, humidity and prone to wind drifts are avoided. And the blower is installed where maintenance can be done easily. Equipment with electric motor is placed on a horizontal concrete foundation and is installed after the concrete has dried completely. After the construction work is completed, the appropriateness of the construction in accordance with the manufacturer's construction completion checklist is checked, and then a test run is conducted in the following order. The valves are checked, and the adjustment plates of the transfer device are set appropriately. The condition of the aeration is checked. It is checked whether water is pumped from the transfer device. In addition, if a timer is installed on the blower, it is confirmed whether it is set for normal operations. Special work. The following work may be carried out depending on the Jocasso construction conditions for Jocasso ranging from small scale to large scale when installing Jocasso in a place where vehicles pass. To prevent the load from being applied directly to the Jocasso, the main unit is supported by erecting columns or by installing retaining walls. The manholes should be load-bearing type. When the inlet pipe lies in a deep position. If the inlet pipe lies in a deep position, an inflow pump tank is installed and the height of the manholes is raised to less than 300 mm. If an inflow pump tank cannot be installed, a pit, a space for maintenance, is constructed above the jocasso so that operation and maintenance can be easily conducted. When a jocasso is deeply buried, a reinforced concrete wall is built to protect the jocasso from external earth pressure. When installing a jocasso on the ground or indoor. When installing a jocasso on the ground, consult with a jocasso manufacturer in advance about the necessary UV resistant coating and strains of the frame and determine an appropriate construction method for the ground installation. If the temperature or direct sunlight adversely affects the water temperature in the tank, heat insulation work is conducted. In areas with earthquakes or strong wind, the main unit is attached with fixtures, anchors, or concrete, as inspections for operation and maintenance can involve working in high places, it is important to ensure safety. A fence is installed to prevent anyone other than maintenance workers from entering and consideration is given to install a lock at the entrance. In Japan, it is institutionalized that various qualified persons are in charge of these different operations so that Jocasso can be properly planned, designed and installed. In other countries as well, attention should be given to comply with the laws and regulations related to Jocasso installation.